Today we're going to be doing a 1v1 and an interview with one of the most important people from the Friday Night Funkin' community. The person who was responsible for over 90% of all Friday Night Funkin' mods, especially because he has created the engine that most of these mods work on. And that is going to be the Cade engine. And yes, we're going to be interviewing Kdev himself today. Make sure you guys smack the like on this video. It's going to be really important. He's going to be answering a lot of important questions behind the development of the Cade engine. The one that's responsible for most of your favorite mods out there. So make sure you guys subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any more interviews. And let's get on with the show. So yeah, we are here with the developer of the Cade engine himself, Kdev. This engine is being used in so many FNF mods including Bob, Tricky, Sunday, Vron, Flippy, Cappy, Imposter, Winnie, Hex, literally dozens more mods as well. It's an insane project, but let's meet the mastermind behind this engine, Cade himself. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, buddy? Uh, hi, my name's Cade. Uh, I'm currently 18. I'm going to be turning 19 in October. I created Cade Engine. Yeah, it's just a little fun project that I made a little bit ago. I think about almost four to five months ago. I don't know, something around after Witty. If you don't know, I programmed Witty as well. Really fun project to do. That was the kind of thing that really got me into like the Friday Night Funkin' fandom, I guess. At least in modding. People know me for creating a lot of mods while well, helping program like Trick uh, you know, Hex, Zardy, other mods like that. So since you program the Cade engine, you must be like a programming pro, huh? I've been programming for 11, almost 12 years now. I've kind of just been doing this for a while because it's just something to do with my pastime. Really, I just started it up when I was, I think I was in like seven or eight, I forget. I started programming because I was interested in computers at a very young age and um, I decided that maybe I could take a shot at this programming thing. And then I realized how fun it was to have the ability to like create things and like have them, you know, exist. And it was really, really cool to have that happen. And so I've just kind of been doing it as a pastime while I was doing school. And then throughout school, I kind of realized maybe I can turn this into an actual career. A little bit later, now I'm in college for computer science. I'm actually trying to make this my career while having this as like a little testing ground for my programming skills to, you know, figure out if I could actually do it. And currently, I think, you know, accomplish that goal. And uh, that's that's really good. Wow, there you go, man. It's very inspiring for sure. Wow. What's your top three favorite mods that has showcased your engine so far? I was going to say mods that showcase my engine that aren't mine. <laughs> Probably say my top favorite is going to be uh, Camellia Bob. Honestly, I'd probably say Cappy. Those three are really, really well-made mods. Do you think those mods use your engine to its fullest potential? I'd say Camellia definitely does. Uh, Bob uh, does some funny shenanigans. Cappy uh, is also really good. All those mods, uh, I wouldn't say they use Kate Engine to its fullest potential, but really, who's to judge what, you know, Kate Engine's fullest potential really is? Kind of depends, but I'd say Camellia is the one that p pushes it the farthest. So what gave you the idea of creating your own engine? Really, I kind of... So this was back in Witty. So Kate Engine actually came out of a mod that I developed called Accuracy Mod, and Accuracy Mod was just the display at the very bottom of the scoreboard that showed your accuracy and I, cr I created that just as a thing and it uses a library called Hacks Flixel and I kind of wanted to get in to see if I could program it because it has a like really close syntax to something like C Sharp and that's what I normally like use to program in a lot so I was wondering if you know that would carry over and it did and so I created this little accuracy mod and then uh, I was actually in Flippy's Discord, the YouTuber Flippy uh, and he was complaining a lot about how uh, doubles, which are jumps, but doubles are basically what he was referring to in that context. Doubles are two notes that are on the same lane, and how in the old engine that those didn't work at all. I was actually getting into uh, the 4K Mania game after Friday Night Funkin' actually it got me into that. And uh, I was wondering how I could fix that. I ended up fixing it, and I decided, well, why would I, because I was also using this in Witty at the time. And I was like, hmm, well, I want to, I want people to be able to use this, but I also don't want people to, you know, have to include Witty with every single thing, because that's what everyone was doing. And so I decided, how about I make a, like, engine kind of thing? And then, well, a little bit later, I kind of ported everything from Witty, took all, out all the Witty assets, and then uh, I just put it out on GitHub one day. It got announced when it came out on the uh, main Discord server for modding. Uh, the main reason why I did this is because of FPS Plus. I'm friends with Rosebud, and I was like, hmm, I want to do something like that. 
and so I did that, but I wanted to make it more focused on competitive gameplay and just more or less general improvements to the game that revolve around competitive gameplay, like scoring and stuff like that. That's kind of why Kate Engine even existed, is because I wanted to fix the issues that the original engine had to hopefully make people, you know, believe that Friday Night Funkin' it can be a good game. Because I know there's a lot of 4K elitists out there that play other games that are very, very, very angry with Friday Night Funkin', obviously because well, it was made in two days. It's not really Ninja Muffin's fault at all. You know, they're getting really mad at them for no reason. And I don't, I didn't really want that. So I wanted to create something that they could play. That if they don't like the original game, well, they can play this version, which is more custom to what, you know, they like. And that's why Kate Engine exists in the first place. Wow, man, that's crazy. Dang. So did you honestly think that your engine would get as much popularity as it does right now? You know, it's kind of, you know, a stereotypical answer, but really, uh, no, not really. I kind of made it as like a project for, uh, my mods, and, uh, I just put it out there, just in case if anybody wanted to do the exact same thing, and apparently a lot of people did. What would you say was the biggest influence for the project? I'd say the unofficial leaderboard server. If you don't know, there's an unofficial leaderboard server that, uh, a few of my friends were creating. Basically, they kind of, uh, only use Kate Engine over there. So I guess kind of the motivation from that, because these people who are using it and who are actually submitting scores to a leaderboard, and you know, they're having a great time, and I guess I kind of put them first, at least. And I guess the motivation, really, is from them enjoying the game. It really brightens up my day, and again, I'm doing this all in my pastime. I'm not getting paid for this or anything. I'm doing this simply as a passion project. I don't care about money or anything like that. I just want to see, you know, the people who I'm making this engine for like it. And if they like it, then my job is done. And, you know, that's just kind of the motivation behind it. Good man. I like that. Very inspiring, man. I know you talked about the Cade engine a little bit, but tell us more about it and specifically what changes you have made from the original one. So how, how a game normally works is a game normally works based on an update loop. This is how 99% of every game works. Basically, this update loop gets called every frame, and every frame, it handles logic, like input normally. But there's a problem with that, well, if you're handling input on the update loop, uh, and that gets called every frame, meaning if you skip a frame, it'll skip a frame of updating input, which will allow you to drop inputs. So, basically, what I did is I, instead of using a update loop, I decided that we could use callbacks, and what callbacks are is basically, instead of checking every frame for a keybind when i press the keybind it will then register that as a press instead of having to check that basically i could just press you know if i press d it'll say hey he pressed d like on the old system it would go through every frame and it'll go is d pressed no okay is d pressed no okay is d pressed yes okay handle input there's a lot of other things in it like uh the new implementation of hit timings you know to add an early hit window and it just generally feels better. Uh, I'd say probably the next biggest change, the options menu, I guess. The options menu is just a giant list of options that allow you to do down scroll, up scroll, uh, change your keybinds. Also, there's mod charts. You can skip the mod chart. There's tons of mod charts and I'm super proud of everybody who's used it because they've actually blown my expectations out. It's really great to see people use it. It just puts a, it just puts a smile on my face whenever I see a mod chart using Kate Engine because you know, it's very, very, like, it, people have used my engine to do stuff that I didn't even know was possible, and I absolutely love it. It's amazing. It's really, really fun to see that. Obviously, you had to get permission from the original developers to tweak their system, right? Kate Engine is licensed under, uh, I forget what actual license it was, but basically what this means is that anybody can use the uh, code just as long as, you know, they credit the original author. I don't think I got permission from Ninja Muffin because of this, because of how you know, it was first open source, and second, I was already complying with all the license changes. Recently, there has been another license change with Ninja Muffin saying that all mods have to be open source, which Kate Engine already abides to because it's already open source. So, there's nothing really there with permissions or anything, and I'm sure uh, Ninja Muffin doesn't really care that it exists, because he knows it exists, and he hasn't said anything to me. If he wants to take it down, it's got to go. I understand that, but otherwise, I'm gonna keep it up and try to maintain it for as long as possible. Hey, I bet you'd be really happy, because in a way, you've kind of, like, changed the whole landscape when it comes to Friday Night Pumpkin mods and stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. So how long did the development of the engine take for you? So, when the engine was first actually, like, getting created, again, it was derived from, uh, Accuracy Mod and Accuracy Mod was used in Witty. It was basically derived from the Witty's old engine, which people have dubbed Witty. Uh, really 
realistically, Witty took about a week, but I think the engine itself, I think initial development was something close to a week. Dang, wow. That's pretty quick, honestly. But then again, it took the original like two days, right? Uh, yeah, more or less. It took the original, like, Accuracy Mod, I think, was cut in an afternoon. How was development like? Was it, like, stressful? Was it disorganized? Uh, I think development is normally chill. Sometimes development can be pushed a lot. And sometimes that is when it gets stressful. I'd say probably the example of this is with Tricky. That was a stressful mod to make specifically because... So Pask, which is Band Buds, uh, basically wanted to get the mod out. I think it was by like July, like not July 6th, but like, I mean, it was like the 6th of a month. I forgot when Tricky released, but he basically was like, yeah, let's get uh, out on the 6th. That's uh, not a lot of time. And I basically just decided to not sleep for two days. And then I was like, hey, yeah, we're ready to release. And when we released two days early because of that. Did you get any help from the original developers, like the original creators who made the original engine to help you on your version? I think at the very beginning, I asked Ninja some stuff. No, I really haven't gotten any help from them at all, no. So did you end up creating this by yourself or did you have a team? For, like at the very first, it was just me, but then people who just like Kate Engine itself started contributing to it. So uh, how this, how GitHub works is GitHub works based on contributors and the maintainer. I'm the maintainer and there's a crap ton of other contributors and basically what they do is they can say, hey, I want this code to be in Kate Engine and I can look over it and then, well, then I go, okay, this code looks good. I'll let you, I'll let this go in and then they contribute to any Kate engine. And then I also have another person who's also a, like, uh, like a co-maintainer and they also help me with that. So now it's more like a two person plus a lot of other contributors. So basically we have our little community and stuff like that that contributes to Kate engine. So how come did you name the engine Kate engine? I know it sounds cliche, but I don't know. I didn't know a name of anything to do like at all. I, I, I I'm not very good at naming things. So I just kind of named it after myself and then I kind of ended up kind of regretting that this ch that choice because people kind of think, you know, oh, he named the Kate engine uh, for like some weird purpose. It's like, no, I just named it because I'm, I'm really bad at naming things. Did you see this as like an opportunity for other mods to utilize your engine as well when you guys used it for Witty? That's more or less the main reason why like Kate engine became a thing is because uh, I knew that my that the engine that I created was better than the original. I knew it was, and so I wanted to. Do give people the option, hey, if you want to use it for your mods, because I knew uh, I knew other engines at the time, which were barely any, didn't ha weren't open source, and you couldn't use them for your mods. And I decided to try to change that. I wanted to change that so people, you know, could open source, you know, their mod, and that's what it was made for. So at any time, did you ever feel that the engine wasn't going to do good or perform well? Honestly, yeah, all the time. Uh, I feel like people wouldn't like some features and stuff like that. And now I kind of like deal with this by like just going on my Twitter and creating a poll and just telling them exactly like, hey, like, you know, either this is going to happen or this is going to happen. Choose which one do you guys want to happen and stuff like that. But yeah, there's a lot of times where I feel like, you know, my engine isn't going to really work. Uh, well, people aren't going to really like that part of the engine or something like that. A lot of the time I thought, you know, people wouldn't like expurgation on Tricky, but no, apparently people really like it. So. so what made you push on and not give up? Being able to, I don't know, do it. <laughs> say people might not like this, but you know, I guess we'll find out. It's like what they say, you miss all the shots that you never take. Yeah, I mean, might as well take the shot. And if, hey, if it doesn't work out, hey, well, I mean, you can still fix it. It's not like it's going to be the end of everything. So are you planning on adding more features to your engine in the future? Uh, yeah, honestly, I am. It's going to be kind of hard, though, because of how week seven and week eight are going to be packaged together, because that's a little bit difficult to, well, work with, especially since I have to update to both those versions. I guess we'll have to just see how much they change. But uh, otherwise, yes, there's probably going to be more features. I, again, you know, 1.6 is going to have a lot of uh, things like uh, the new uh, chart editor that I've been working on. Any features that you'd like to share on the interview? Well, I already showed a lot of like 1.6 features out on Twitter, but you know, there's uh, some stuff. So again, going back to Stepmania is just kind of like the game that started 4K at least a little bit. Um, the big thing about Stepmania is that it, they use their own files called .sm files or .ssc. Basically, a .sm file is created in uh, at chart editors and there's a lot of chart editors that can create this. And a lot of Fire and Funkin' mods were created in uh, a charter called Error Vortex. 
Air Vortex is a very, very good charter, and it outputs SM files or really any file that is supported there, but mostly SM files. And uh, Kate Engine in 1.6 is going to support SM files fully. Are you planning on creating another version of the engine, or is it only gonna be the Kate Engine? I don't think we'll ever going to create like a different version of the engine unless like you know, a giant thing happens with the original game that uh, requires us to rewrite a lot of things. Um, then maybe, but otherwise, no. And there's there any beta work of like pictures of old codes that you'd like to share? Maybe like a memory during development that you had? Yeah, that's like a concept of ballistic, because I don't really think there's much in Kate Engine that was in beta, I guess. It because, you know, Kate Engine was just kind of a code based thing, it wasn't a lot of art anywhere. There was the old logo that we had. We recently changed logo because somebody made a better one, and you know, I kind of suck at art. <laughs> so, what are your future plans? Are you currently working on any other projects? Obviously, you're still working on the engine but yeah i am working on some other projects actually all the projects that i'm that i'm working on i actually can't tell you about so <laughs> but i am working on other stuff not even a name for them um i mean a hex update i guess oh hex update all right that sounds cool sweet well i definitely want to thank you for your time today Cade. um uh, i know you have a lot of socials but let me know some of them so the viewers can follow you on your journey well yeah no i have a twitter uh, at k developer obviously I have my youtube and then I have my Discord, which is Discord at GG Slash That's kind of it. <laughs> well, definitely want to thank you for your time on the interview today, man. Yeah, no problem, man.